Hello, good evening. Welcome to our channel, Yushi Talks. And today we will be talking about a brother's heart-wrenchingly honest obituary for 76-year-old sibling's hard, lonely life. And we will also get to know why it has gone viral. Let's get started. Brian Eldridge's brother wanted the world to know about his misunderstood sibling's heartbreaking and lonely life after he died alone in his Minnesota apartment, so he wrote a brutally honest obituary. Brian was a quiet, shy boy and man. He was bullied as a child and teenager because of his shyness and vulnerability. As an adult, he did not fit in. He never learned to use a computer or cell phone, which kept him from applying to most jobs. Steve Eldridge wrote in the obituary published in Pioneer Press on Sunday. He worked and supported himself through paper routes, aluminum can recycling and janitorial work. He was exploited by employers. His last job was cleaning a bingo hole at midnight for $10 an hour, seven nights a week, 364 days a year with just less than the minimum weekly hours to have any rights or benefits. His employer fired him on Christmas Eve with no notice. He had worked there for 15 years. His brother wrote, he had no friends or family who kept up with him. He was quiet, smart, generous, and lonely. When found in his apartment, he had been dead at least four days. I'll miss him. The brief eulogy concluded. The obituary immediately touched the heart of local readers with dozens moved to write to the paper in response, according to Pioneer Press. So let's find more about Brian Eldridge. Uh, Eldridge, who was found in his cramped two-bedroom apartment in Moundsview outside Minneapolis on July 11th after his brother had called him for four days with no response. He told Pioneer Press that he had last spoken to his brother on his birthday, May 4th, and saw him in person last October. Nobody else knew him. He told the paper when he was asked why he chose to write the obituary with such effective frankness. When our other brother David died in October, I basically explained how his life was short because of schizophrenia. I wanted to be just as honest with Brian's obituary because his story is sad and true. Steve Eldridge was equally frank about his own feelings after Brian's death. I personally struggled with the question, am I my brother's keeper? I have to live with the guilt, regret, and shame that I did not try harder to stay closer, to see him more, to call him more, to be there for him, he said. Brian Eldridge was born in St. Paul in 1947, the middle of Franklin and Cecil Eldridge's three sons. I was basically his only friend and we played together all the time as little children. Once we got to high school, that changed, Steve Eldridge recalled. Brian Eldridge was drafted to serve in Vietnam and was given some basic training but was sent home because of his acne problem which was very bad. Brian would struggle to keep himself employed for the rest of his life trying to hold on to jobs such as baggage handler and then as newspaper delivery man and collecting cans at night. He struggled with technology and Steve had to show his brother how to use a microwave, a new television and computers that he never had used before. When your computer illiterate, everything is just as hard. Steve told newspaper, he tried taking a computer class at the local library once, but he said that after the first one, everybody was so far ahead, he was embarrassed and he quit. Brian went more than 50 years without seeing a doctor before he was diagnosed with high blood pressure in 2013, which his brother believes may have contributed to his death. By the time he died, Steve said Brian's hair, of which he proudly hadn't cut in probably 45 years, was halfway down to his calves. Steve Eldridge says that he had been moved by the tributes to Brian, but he is frustrated by the lack of kindness or friendship the community showed him while he was alive. That's all we have in today's video. Please continue to watch the space for more informative news. Thanks for watching us. You have a wonderful day ahead. Bye-bye.